Hi fellow Kitsunists, I am Kitsuart. There's one thing that I have discovered while messing with my BeatTuber. Um, this could be useful for those who have animal features like ears. Um, my question so far for myself was, I am a fox. I need fangs. <laughs> You've probably already tried b roids so um, I'm not sure if any of you have tried b roid but just in case, you can see that you have the expressions here. So, you know, we're going to go search for the A uh, right here. Here's the A. Uh. We're going to zoom in to our cat girl right here. Then you see that teeth right here. We got the fangs. We're going to go with the top fangs or fangs one right here. So we're going to go with those right here. Then we're going to go to export. So once we go to export, we're going to click export right here. Okay, going to name it. I'm gonna name it Neko Teeth Test. Author Kitsu. Go OK. And then just select uh, an area to save it at. And then just save it. Here we go. And once you got the Neko Girl, you gotta search the. When I go to BC Face, open up the Neko Girl Test. The Teeth Test right here. And uh, you can actually see um, she's got no teeth. Yeah, you can see right here, there's no teeth at all on this Neko girl's teeth. So that means she's not truly a cat without the fangs. So um, how do we fix this? Well, we can fix this by using Blender. So you're gonna have to go to Blender. Blender is free to actually use. So. We're going to use Blender right here. Blender is a free program that you can download. It's pretty much the same as um, Maya and ZBrush combined together. So yeah, it's actually a program to do 3D modeling. So you go to General, as right now, press X to delete this cube. You're going to need an add-on, so I placed the link in the description below so you can download the add-on. To add the add-on, you go to Preferences, and then you go to Install. Click install and then search for your add-on wherever maybe you placed it at. It's going to be like a zip file so you don't have to um, extract all or unzip or anything. And then so once you search for it, um, once you install it, it's going to appear right here in the center. So it should be called import export brm format. So that should be the add-on that you need. Make sure this check mark is actually checked. So check it so you can turn it on and that will enable you to export and import BRM files and other sorts as well, like Miku Miku Dance. So we're gonna import the cat model. So go to BRM, import the BRM, search for the cat model. My Neko girl is right here. Import it. You'll see right here, there's our cat girl. She's in solid mode at the moment, so we want a straight view right here. So click right here, our Y axis view. Click the top right here to add color. And you can see right here, these are the bones. This is the armature, pretty much the bones of the character. So we're gonna go right here to the armature on the top right here, and we wanna click the face. You can also click the face straight on the model as well. And that'll be a separate model here, the face. Uh, we don't wanna see the bones everywhere either, so turn the armature off by clicking the eye. And then go straight to this icon right here. Um, I will not mess with the model or anything, so don't try not to touch too much because I'm still learning this program and I was messing with the model and it kind of like messed up my blend shape so I had to like start all over again. So um, this right here, um, you click through this, these are your shape keys, so this is the bottom right here, this is what you should pay attention to. You click this right here and here's your value, you click and drag up to one and you can see she's slightly smiling. So you bring it back down. The basis right here is the this right here, what you're seeing, the basis state of the character. So all of these right here are just expressions. So everything right here is all an expression. This is a smiley expression and a joy exp expression. So everything right here you have is your expression. So the expression that you want to look for is the A. So just keep messing with everything you got right here until you find the A. You can also double click it and you can see right here it has a name at the end. So I will just play with everything at the moment right now. So I'm going to be searching for the 
um, the R. So I have to search for the R right here. So one that opens her mouth. Oh, about right here. So this is the joy, the joy mouth. So you can double click it and then backspace to rename it. We're gonna call this joy mouth. And that will let you know that that's an open mouth emotion. So now we're gonna have to keep searching up here. You can see right here we found the gum teeth. The teeth are um, that are attached to the skin. So these are the E. Okay, if you're here. There you go, we got the fangs right here. So we're gonna go with the top ones. We want both fangs. Well, that's the bottom fang. Okay, I got right here. There we go. So just keep playing with this, and you can also double click it, and you'll see the name at the end as well. So this one, we're gonna put fangs. We're gonna call it that. So once you get the fangs out like that, you're gonna have to go to make sure the fangs is selected. So now you go to this arrow, you go to apply to selected. Apply to shape key to basis. So this will apply the shape key to the basis, meaning it's gonna be part of the basis. And then this one right here, fangs are buried, this will get rid of it when you add the value of one. It's gonna get rid of the fangs. So in order to test how, what we have right now, go to the joy mouth right here, or the ah, whichever emotion you have that opens the mouth, and then add a value of one to open her mouth. And you can see her teeth are right there. We can also go back as an example to the fangs reverted. So I add a value of one, the fangs are gone. But yeah, that's how you add fangs right here. So in order to export it, uh, make sure all of these are value zero. Everything here has to be value zero. So just be sure that everything here is, is zero value. Turn the armature back on by clicking the I to open it up. Then you just click away. And then you go to file, export, BRM. Okay, go right here, and then just name it Neko Teeth. Test done. Okay, so now we are exporting the model, and then we're gonna go back to BC Face. Okay, so in order to avoid confusion, delete this avatar that you have, then add the avatar, search for the Neko Test Teeth done. Here we go, it's right here. Click it again start and we can see right here that our nickel girl finally has teeth you can see this the teeth are really sharp so now the teeth are part of the basis model so this cat is officially a real cat so you can now call her a real kitty a real nickel <laughs> so yeah that's how you do the teeth you can do your own expressions or animations with shapes keys and probably do it even more. I'm still in the process of learning how all of this works. Um, there's a lot more you can do, uh, but I suggest getting familiar with tools before you do um, crazy stuff. <laughs> You're welcome to watch my Master Sword tutorial, which is almost like showing everything you need to know as a beginner, but um, <laughs> it's my first tutorial there, so I'm not sure if I'm doing well showing it for beginners. Um, I just showed how VTubers can have fangs. Um, you won't need to struggle by modeling it yourself, which was something I was close to doing until discovering this. Um, by combining ablations, you can create unique things or crazy things. <laughs> As you can see, I gave myself fangs right now. Ha. Ha. Yeah, see? I got sharp teeth. <laughs> sharp teeth. So yeah, I hope this video has helped you in your VTuber journey or 3D artist journey. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to poke that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends. Feel free to follow me in my other social media. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later. Alright, now where's the exit door to my apartment here? Got a nice TV. Where's the door? Where's the exit door? Gotta look for it. Oh, oh, it's right over here. <laughs>